This is our cargo trailer camper conversion. It is a seven foot wide by 12 foot long by six and a half foot high um, single axle. It is a, um, we upgraded to a 5,200 pound axle with electric brakes. We also got windows factory installed with an RV door latch and we'll just walk around the other side we had the factory install an access door for our air conditioner it's a window unit air conditioner and they had the option of this 24 by 24 um, access door and we thought it would be a good spot for the air conditioner because we didn't want to leave it in permanently we wanted to be able to take it out for traveling and so this is the solution we came up with there's also another window on this side we installed a 30 amp power service ourselves and so it hooks up there and um, plugs in at the campsite. Then if we continue on around the back, we've got barn doors. This is the inside of our camper. So looking straight ahead, we have the window unit, it is a 6,000 BTU. We framed out the inside because the air conditioner was obviously too small to fit exactly in the access door that the factory installed for us. It is very strong and the access door was welded in, but we decided to put a 2x4 underneath just for a little extra strength. And then we'll pan around this way. This is a seat with storage underneath. And over here is a cute little boy. Hello! Whoa. <sighs> so back to our beds. Down here is a cot size bed so it's the length of a twin but it's 30 inches wide and it's plenty big and I it's in here. that's where he sleeps but it was an old ikea old bed and we cut it down to fit the cot size mattress you also need to make, be careful of this right don't hit your head on that i've done it so up here we have a loft bed this used to be um, higher in one of our boys rooms and we cut some of the length off of it and that is a regular size twin mattress up there um, we've got that's one of the windows from the inside we've got a television some storage cabinets from Ikea these are shoe storage cabinets I think in that one we've got some electronics. Down there we have actual shoes. We have a clock. And a clock. We've got the Nintendo Switch and some cute little plants. You know, you have to have a Nintendo Switch real. when you go camping. And then if we continue around, we've got the door with the RV style door handle there. I found this fabric on Etsy. Um, we wanted Mickey Mouse and we thought the Mickey Mouse camping fabric was really cute for the curtains. So I made these curtains. This one is for the door. These windows all open. So if we need some fresh air, we can get it. Um, I also used the fabric on the edge of these pillows as well as on this 
pillow right here. We tried to use as many things as we could that we already had so we didn't have to buy new or build new. So we built this storage cabinet. I already had the fabric for this cushion in the house. So let's, let's continue back around. We already had the comforter from these two comforters from our old um, set of bunk beds that we had. This is the stool that helps us get up onto the top bed. There we go. This is a nice spot to come hang out. It's kind of hot outside right now, so we're inside relaxing a little bit. Then right as you walk into the door is our little sink area. This was an old chest that we had in the nursery, actually. It started out with um, the right door was red and the left, the drawers on the left were all blue. We used just a piece of um, wall paneling to make this wall and I wanted it to match so I got contact paper for that to make it match a little bit better. We've got some lighting up here that seems to be enough for us. We don't need it real bright in here when we're just camping. We have a hook for the towel the important coffee pot for coffee in the morning. So for our water, um, we just have a water pump that is made to go on a three gallon jug or a five gallon jug. And underneath, we've got our fresh water in this three gallon jug. And so it comes up through this pump you just push it it's USB charged and it drains down into this so that's where the gray water goes into that three gallon jug we didn't want to put any kind of DC power in here we're not really boondockers and so the 110 power is really enough for us We'll get to that in just a second. We have a dorm size fridge here that sits on this storage cabinet. This storage cabinet holds the porta potty for nighttime. So at night, we can just pull out the porta potty and it can go back here. So this is our power. We've got um, a 30 amp outlet that comes in here and then it breaks off. We've got a, a 20 and a 15 and the 20 amp is dedicated to the air conditioner and then the 15 amp runs that socket it's kind of dark back here but there's another electric socket back there and another one up here so that pretty much gives us everything we need um, to run electric wise in here we didn't want to put the cords behind the walls so that if we ever needed to get to them to do any repairs, we knew where they were and they would be easy to get to. Really the only cord you can see is back here. And then it runs up the wall there. And then on the other side, we just covered it with um, a little piece of molding and it runs all along there behind that so you can't really see it much and it's just fine for what we need the other thing is our privacy area 
So we've got, it's a, a curtain rod that swivels. And I had this old curtain from the boys' room from years ago. And so if we need to change or use the bathroom in the middle of the night, we just pull this curtain up and it gives you quite a bit of room back there. This also will extend out. So if I want to extend it, that can just pull out and the curtain can go across even further. And so that's the Vino section is kind of where we can change clothes or have some privacy. We may try and put some kind of shower right in this V at another time, but for now this seems to be working very well for us. We put in luxury vinyl plank flooring from Home Depot that was about a dollar a square foot and we're really happy with it. The other thing is for nighttime we can set up a cot which I will go set up. Here is the cot set up so as you can see we can easily sleep three people in here one two and a third across there and we even have room for our dog. He's supposed to sleep there but he likes to jump up and sleep right there. On me. And then we have this we can still fit the stool to get up on that bed in the middle of the night. Another thing that we can do in here, there's enough space right in this area. If we need to put more people inside, if it's raining or really hot, we can set up these two chairs. So we could sit one, two, three, four, five, six up there if we needed to. And we have this little table that was in one of our boys' rooms. He doesn't use anymore. so. It can be a coffee table or it can sit up if we wanted to use it to play cards or something like that. Some people have asked why we have a tiny camper if we have four big boys. The answer is that our older boys don't really have time to come with us as much as they used to. So as you can see, we can fit three in here comfortably and some of them don't really mind sleeping outside in a tent. We also have a conversion van that um, has a third row that will fold down into a bed. So if we have all of us together, we do have room to sleep everyone, just not inside here. But if they need to come in here to get out of the rain or out of the heat or out of the cold, we have plenty of room for that. So this is our first time taking um, her out. We have decided to name her Tangled because we are Disney fans and Rapunzel is my favorite Disney princess. Yeah, I was about to say that. And Rapunzel's kingdom is the kingdom of Corona. And we converted this trailer in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. So we thought it was fitting that we could call it Tangled. So thank you for watching. We will most likely be making some, some more um, improvements to the trailer as it goes on. And we will show those.